Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another problem in our uh, array series, which is uh, the problem is called maximum sum subarray. So what uh, what we have to do here is we have to find the maximum sum of a subarray. So what do I mean by subarray means any part of our array which contains one or more elements. This can be a subarray, only minus two. Minus three can be a subarray. Four minus one can be a subarray. Minus two, one, five can be a subarray. Minus two, one, five, minus three can be a subarray. So this is what we mean by subarray. All right. We have to find the maximum sum of our subarray. What can be our array subarrays? Minus two, minus three, sum is what? Um, minus five. It can be these three term or can be a subarray. It is what minus one and we these three terms can be a subarray. The sum would be zero. So similarly, we have to find a subarray whose sum is maximum. All right. So in uh, this case, what would be our maximum sum subarray? This. this right what is this 5 6 10 minus 2 minus 1 7 okay our output is going to be 7 in any other case the maximum subarray would be uh, the sum of our subarray would be less all right now the question arises how to solve this question so we have an algorithm for such question, here the algorithm's name is Cadence Algorithm. Alright, so in this algorithm, what we do is that for every element, we say we find out maximum sub of subarray which must end with this element, and our overall result is going to be the maximum of these values. All right, so what I mean is to see this is our array. So what we are going to do is we are going to traverse element from here to here, right? And for every element, we are going to have two options. Either we are going to have this element, we are going to include this element in the previous subarray which is already going on. Or we are going to have a new subarray which will begin from this element. Okay. So suppose here, what would the subarray max and subarray sum for this element? It is going to be minus two only. Right. For this element, this has two options. Either it will join this minus two and will become minus five, or it can be a new a uh, subarray element. So it would be obviously a new subarray element. Our output is going to be what minus three. This element have two choices. Either this element or having some of previous element. So this is going to have element of its own. Right. Now we have this element. Either we can have minus one or we can have four minus one. That is three. Right. So three. Here also what would happen, we have um, two choices, right? So the two choices here is minus two or um, have some from here till here, which is what? One, right? Now if we come here, it can be either one or one plus one, two. So obviously we'll have two. Now here, what would be the value? The value would be either 5 or 2 plus 5, 7. What would be the value here? Or value would be 4. Right? The maximum of these elements, the maximum of these result would be our output. So this is going to be our output. Right? So this was, you know, the basic, basic coding of, like basic algorithm of Cadence algorithm. Now, uh, you must like pause this video and write a function which will take uh, 
an input array and size of it and return the maximum sum, maximum sum of a sub array. Okay, now let's begin our coding part here. Let's add header file. Call it sir areas. Let's see the element here. It is minus two, minus three, four. Minus two, minus three, four. Minus one, minus two. Minus one, minus two. One, five, minus three. All right, let's have size as um, how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. All right, now we simply see out max sum ar, comma, n. and max sum int r comma int n all right now let's this is the main coding part which will happen all right so what did I tell you? We are going to have for final result we are having it as R zero. Alright. And we will have an intermediate result int max ending, which is also going to be R zero right now. Now what we are going to do is we are going to run a loop from i is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus max ending is going to be max of um, arr i comma max ending plus i all right and this is just going to be the max of either um, res or max ending so what we're going what we're doing here is that these values which are coming minus two minus three minus four minus two minus three four three one two seven four this is a max ending value all right what we're going to what we're doing is suppose at four max end is going to be the maximum of this element or maximum of max ending plus this element that means minus three plus four which is going to be one so obviously four is greater and before that res is minus three so obviously this would also change here all right so this is a very basic and easy code now let's return res well, let's just save this code and yes run it right okay i guess we're having some error here or something We are returning res here. We are having it is at int, and in the end, we are having c out max sum ar and n. Right? So there is no problem. Let's um, try and run it again.
all right so there is some problem with my compiler right here so but the code is um, absolutely right oh okay wait a minute there's not problem with my compiler is there was problem in the code all right now let's try and run this thing see seven right yeah so yes so this was a question of maximum sum sub array where we used um cadence algorithm right and we solved it and in another video what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a question of uh, geeks for geeks there that is a very great site there you will be uh solve your like first interview environment question which would be based on cadence algorithm all right so we'll see it there and and i'll tell you more about like geeks for geeks environment ide environment and yeah that's it for this video and see you later thank you